The simple thing that motivates me is, is my family. Boxing at the end of the day does not matter. The only thing that matters to me is my family and if boxing is the way to be uh, successful and secure in life for me, it's, it's the route I'll choose. The main reason I became a professional boxing fighter from the start was because I wanted to be like my older brothers. I just wanted to be like them and so I, I followed them to the gym and the coach at the time was telling me I wasn't allowed to but I just kept going and kept going and I think in the gym I was showing stuff that kids at my age weren't doing at the time and you know uh, they were always saying I was I was going to be the best out of them. It didn't make it harder having two brothers fighters, it actually made it a, a lot easier because I feel growing up the confidence I have instilled inside me is, is maybe from them guys. 2012 London Games when I won the bronze medal you know I was disappointed. Um, I was very disappointed because, you know, I was, I was only 20 years of age and, and I wanted to win the gold. I believed so much I was going to win that gold and unfortunately, you know, I, I faced a Cuban fighter who, who ended up winning the gold and he, 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 was, he was a great fighter at the time and he was just a bit, a bit ahead of me and I, I was devastated. But after when I came home, there was a mural of me. It's a huge honour to be looked at. As, as a role model of my community and for me to be inspiring the youth in my, in, in my area because it is a tough area to come from, it's, it's very humbling. <laughs> that day in Rio, it was very tough. I knew I was, I was number one seed, I was uh, world ranked number one. I was truly confident getting there. It was a fate that I believed that I was going to win easy. I went in, <laughs> I thought I won easy. And unfortunately, you know, the decision got called out and, you know, the rest is history. When I flipped up the birds, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't towards anybody in the arena. It was towards the judges. I said some harsh things to those guys when I was walking past. I still don't regret that also. I took that moment and, you know, it's something that will drive me on for the rest of my career. It's a feeling that I never want to feel again. Michael Connell. I feel I have the weight of a nation on, on my back because I'm here in America and I gotta, I gotta represent. I have thousands of fans come and watch me. It's unbelievable and humbling, so I, I wanna do well for them. You know, it, it is the, the bigger pond over here and you know, there's a lot more going on, a lot tougher challenges. And you know, I felt that I could go over here and, and, and make a name for myself and which professional fighter in the world can say they sold out the theater Madison Square Garden on their professional debut? I've been lucky enough now, this will be my second St. Patrick's Day. It feels like an extra birthday for me every year. The feeling of walking out is something I still can't really come to terms with or describe. As soon as the doors open for me to walk out and I've seen the fans going crazy and just the tricolours everywhere and the Irish fans, um, I actually felt at home. I felt comfort having that type of support and those type of fans behind you is, is, is unbelievable. We have, we have done the right thing by going with top rank. They have marketed me very, very well. For me, to be, to be one of the, the main guys who Bob was saying, like the likes of Menson, like Kodo, uh, De La Hoya, Mayweather, Loma. I want to be one of the greats and go down in the history like that, guys. I'm happy to have guys like Bob believing in me like they do.